Let's play this new 6 9 snippet, man. 6 ix come back to the rap world. Um, he's, he's done smashing Annual's baby mama. And this is what he coming with. Oh, you want red? I like it. I like it. Now, if you didn't know how this song got 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 created, salute to my boy Trife Drew. Um, he actually has a TikTok, and on his TikTok, he actually showed how he made the song. That's not Tory Lanez on the hook. So listen to this. This is a song that I did for Tory Lanez and for Six Nine, but Tory Lanez went to jail and Six Nine snitched. So, ah, uh, are you sad, son? Are you on red room? <laughs> Hit him at the fan on. Oh, you said it, you the big shatter, the dog daughter. Oh, you said so. Oh, you want red rum? I got this baggy on my hip, it's speeding van. Oh, you got hit up, nigga, don't think that it's red. I hit your black, I got the blicky on the fan. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hit him at the fan. 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 Oh, you said it, you the big shatter, the dog daughter. Boom, boom, chocolate. All right, so basically, this is a song that I did for Tori. Okay, now, uh, I do want to let y'all know. So, this is Trive Drew. This is a frequent collaborator with with um, um, 6 9 Now, truth be told, I watch him, 6 9 and another guy, uh, what's this guy's name, Justin. Um, they in, in a little trio, they created Tati. I don't know if you like yo, these bitches think I'm stupid, but I ain't stupid. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Was it Tati? No, no. It was um, was it Billy? Or I can't remember which one. But this is how they've created most of their music. I think Six Nine has been very open with the fact that his friends, which he grew up. With, this is the guy he grew up with, actually, right? Like that blood shit and all them hieroglyphic niggas. He never grew up with. He grew up with this guy. This guy helped him with the music. Um, they kind of like just all collaborated. And you know, if you might, you want to call him a writer, whatever it is. It, Sure, cool. Uh, I, I give credit to Six Nine a lot for that because he doesn't try to take all the credit from the music creation process. He 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 even looks at it like, yo, in reality, he's just like a fucking great marketer. But this guy's great with hooks and melodies and all type of shit. Like this guy's pretty good. Um, anyway, I heard this song long time ago. By the way, try if you don't got a cab, I'll, I'll tell the truth. <laughs> I heard this song a long time ago. You know, this was an idea by him, obviously. Uh, what happens is 6 9 will hear, like, a part, and then he'll tweak his verse and do his shit. And the other part was meant for Tory Lanez. Like, I, I, for whatever reason, it didn't happen. But, um, it, again, nobody writes with Tory, by the way. But this was an idea that Tory could have worked off a hook with. Tory didn't do the song, for whatever reason. I don't know why Tory didn't do the song. Or maybe because he got locked. I don't know. Whatever the fuck. Right? But I remember hearing it. I think I got that song on my computer, to be honest. Right? Um, I remember hearing it. I'm like, oh, shit, this fire. Tory, got, this, this could be the next Rondo. Right? Tory got to get on it. Tory never got on it. And I guess um, 6 ix 9 want to put it out now. And he's just like, yo, fuck it. I'm going to just leave my day one collaborator on it. It's like Drake just leaving Party Next Door on a, on a song where Party Next Door wrote for Rihanna. Like, you know, Party wrote work for Rihanna? And he's just like left party party on the the Rihanna part, right? That's pretty much it's what seems to be happening. Um, I don't know if Tory would have ever cut it. Uh, by the way, also, even if Tory was gonna adopt this, just to let people know, because I you know I know these people take their arts very seriously. Tory is a writer for himself and many others, and um, a hook doesn't define any particular artist, right? So the part that was supposed to be Tory's part that he was saying um, was the hook. So, are you a man? Are you a man? Are you a man? That, that was supposed to be, that's if Tory wanted to take that melody and cadence and do his thing on that. Um, Tory never did it, though. Okay? I think it sounds good. Tory Lanez. And I think it sounds good, though. Are you a man? Uh, 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 uh. 
song gotta be over here then it's any one song what song was any one supposed to be on that's reason okay come on was it yaya whatever who cares all right anyway uh salute to salute to six nine man let me tell you this. You know, you know what I realized about 6 9 The best thing that happened to this motherfucker is that he been tricking like a motherfucker on these bitches. And 6 9 has probably spent about $2.5 million on bitches and starlets and annuals like baby mama. And I know, I'm not celebrating tricking, but he's spending money. And let me tell you what happens. When you get these lazy entertainers who never want to make music, when they start having to spend money, they start realizing they got to make money, okay? So 6 9 is putting out more music ever than, than, than before. You know, he had a part of his deal that he had to drop a Spanish album. He already dropped the Spanish album. He's back to doing English music. He's dropping music more frequently. He's doing a lot of things. Um, and also, well, he's still in drama, at least in Spanish world, but he's keeping out the drama in the English world. So, again, I'm glad that he, you know, he's, you know, uh, motivated to make music, whether even if that motivation came at the expense of spending millions of dollars on bitches. <laughs> you get what I mean? You can spend millions as long as you make millions. You know how you gonna make millions? Put that music out, okay? All right, people. All right. Anyway, chat. Getting off here. I love y'all. I will either be at the Drake show tonight or I'll be back on stream tonight. You guys uh, will know shortly, all right? Love you guys. Make sure you guys cop the tickets, please. You gotta go cop the tickets. Look in the chat, please. Buy a ticket to the um, show that we're throwing in September in Jersey City. It's about 10 minutes away from Times Square. Uh, I would love to see you guys. This is our first opportunity to like make a good impression on everybody and, and really do an amazing show. So please, go cop those tickets. Please, 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 please. That's my only request. Do nothing but that, okay? All right, other than that, I'll catch y'all later. Love y'all, either later tonight or tomorrow, okay? See y'all.